today I want to read to you a book about bubbles. This book was written by Kimberly Bradley. Photographs were taken by Margaret Miller. This book is called Pop, a book about bubbles. Dip the plastic wand into the soap solution. Hold it up to your mouth. Now blow. You've made a bubble. Watch it float higher and higher. The bubbles shimmer in the sun. It goes up, 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 then pop, it disappears. You can blow small bubbles or big ones. You can blow one bubble or hundreds of bubbles. You can't blow square bubbles or flat bubbles. All bubbles are round. Bubbles are air trapped inside liquid. The liquid you put your bubble wand into is made of water and soap. Sometimes it has a little corn syrup too. It is sticky. It sticks to the floor if you spill it. It sticks to your fingers when you touch it. And it sticks to the plastic bubble wand. It sticks and it stretches. It stretches across the round hole on the end of the bubble wand. When you blow into the wand, you make air move. If you blow slowly, you can see how the air makes the soap on the wand start to stretch. As you blow harder, the soap stretches and stretches until it can't stretch anymore. Finally, it snaps free. The soap shuts around the air inside it. There it is, a bubble. You don't have to blow to make a bubble. If you hold your bubble wand up into the wind, the wind will blow the bubbles for you. You can also make bubbles by holding the wand up and running. Anything that moves air can make a bubble. If a bubble touches something like your hand or another bubble, it may have a flat side or the wind may push a bubble and change its shape. But when a bubble is quietly floating in the air by itself, it is always round. The air inside the bubble pushes out against the soap skin. It doesn't push harder in one place than in another. It pushes evenly in every direction. This makes the bubble round. The soap skin holds the air inside. It pushes back against the air. If your hands are dry and you touch bubbles, they pop. Anything that pokes them makes a hole in the soap skin. Whoosh, the air inside rushes out. Even if you don't touch bu bubbles, they still pop. They dry out. Their soap skin shrink. Soon they can't hold all the air inside them and pop. There are other kinds of bubbles too. The next time you drink soda, look carefully at the bottom of the glass. You will see tiny bubbles forming. You can watch them get bigger and bigger. Finally, they get so big that they start to float up through the soda, higher and higher, then pop. You can also make bubbles with a straw. Put one end of the straw in a glass of water or juice and blow. Bubbles float up through the liquid and pop. Water and juice aren't sticky like soap solution, so the bubbles pop right away. Milk is stickier than water. If you blow bubbles with a straw in a glass of milk, they will stay at the top of the glass for a while. They won't float through the air like soap bubbles. The milk isn't sticky enough for that, but milk bubbles look like soap bubbles. Wherever they aren't touching the glass or each other, they will be round. You can make tiny, tiny bubbles. You can make bubbles big enough to step inside. You can blow one bubble or a whole stream of bubbles. But you can't make square bubbles. Bubbles are always round. Bubble, bubble. 
written and illustrated by Mercer Mayer. One day as I was walking, I bumped into a bubble. It wasn't just one bubble, but lots of bubbles. Oh look, he's peeking over the fence. I wonder what he sees. And they weren't just any kind of bubbles. They were magic bubbles. Oh look, a salesman selling magic bubbles, 25 cents. So I bought a magic bubble maker and said goodbye. Oh, off he goes. I wonder what he's gonna do with his magic bubbles. I started blowing bubbles, magic bubbles. Look what is happening to our bubbles. Oh my goodness, it looks like he is making a kangaroo. Everywhere, he made his magic bubbles everywhere. He made a car and a jack-in-the-box, a sailboat, a butterfly, and a bird. Oh my goodness, look at what all his magic bubbles can make. Then suddenly, something strange happened. Can you see what's happening to that white bubble? It's getting bigger and bigger and it's growing an eye and oh my goodness, it almost looks like a snake. Uh-oh, I thought I had to do something quick. His snake is trying to get him turned around and it looks like it's charging him. What do you think he can do? So I blew another bubble. Oh, it has to be bigger than the snake. What does it look like it's going to become? It has some pointed ears and possibly a tail. A cat, and that took care of that. So the cat scared the snake away. Oh, he seems pretty happy. I hope it's a friendly cat. <gasps> at least I thought so. Oh my goodness, it's not a friendly cat at all. It's coming to get him. What do you think he can do? But I knew what to do. I blew some more bubbles. <gasps> and these bubbles are turning into something larger than the cat. It looks like it has a trunk and two tusks. I wonder what that could be, can you guess? What did the bubbles become, his magic bubbles? <gasps> and that took care of that because the elephant, you guessed right, chased away the cat. Oh, I hope it's a friendly elephant. Let's see. I wasn't worried one small bit like the elephant's coming after him too. Now the elephant looks very angry. What do you think he's gonna blow now? What are elephants afraid of? Let's see. I just blew another bubble and that took care of that. What are elephants afraid of? What bubble did he blow? He needed a magic bubble that turned into a mouse. Good job. I popped all the bubbles one by one. Pop, 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 pop. Blowing bubbles make me tired, so I went home. Oh, he threw away the rest of his magic bubbles. Anyway, everyone knows there's no such thing as magic bubbles. Oh, but look, when he poured out the last of his bubbles, it made a sea dragon looks very sad that his friend is going away. The end. So we just read two books about bubbles. First I read you Pop, a book about bubbles, which was fun but this just gave us information about how to make bubbles and it told us that bubbles are always brown. What did you read Miss Carol? I read the book Bubble bubble and it was a great story about a little boy who bought some magic bubbles and had fun making magical creatures. So our books were both about bubbles but they were very different. 
My book said bubbles are always round. Were they always round in your book? No. If you remember, he made a boat and a car and then he made a snake that chased him and he made an elephant and a little tiny mouse at the end. So his bubbles were not always round. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to try to figure this out. We're going to try this here, but you can try this at home too. We're going to make some bubbles and we're going to see if our bubbles are always round or if we can make bubbles that are different shapes. So let me show you how we can make some bubbles. We have a cup of water. Try this at home. Talk to, to mom or dad, get some permission, and ask them for things that they have that can help you make bubbles at home. You need water. You need some soap. Dish soap works well. We're going to put this in a good bit and stir it up so it's nice and soapy. Do you think that's enough? Uh, I think a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more. And you might have to try it out a few times. If you don't have enough, you can always add a little bit more. If you get too much soap, you can add more water. Oh, you can never have too much soap. <laughs> okay, so it's getting soapy. I kind of see some soap bubbles forming on the top. So this is soap and water. So we're gonna um, just try this out and see how this works. Um, you may have a wand like they used in my story. She had a wand that she used to blow bubbles that's made out of plastic. Um, we don't have that here, so we just got some pipe cleaners, and we are going to make a wand to blow bubbles. And so you can take your pipe cleaner and you can just um, bend it to where you have a little circle on the end. Okay. This looks pretty easy. Twist it. Okay. So it stays together in a little circle. And then I have a little bubble wand. And so you want to try it out cool. for me and see if you can blow us a bubble? Sure. Make a mess in here with our bubbles. You may want to do this outside because bubbles get sticky. The soap and water is easy to clean up. It's, it's clean. All right, let's see if I can blow a bubble. Mm -hmm. oh, it looks pretty good. Let's see how Okay, she's got some bubbles. Oh, that's a big bubble. Okay, good job. Those were impressive bubbles. <laughs> okay, so we can make our bubbles even a little more impressive by adding something to it that will make it more sticky. Because they um, popped really quick. I want to pop. see the bubbles hang around for a little bit. Yeah. And so to make them stick around, you need something sticky. In our book, it suggested using some corn syrup, which is great. Um, you may have it in your kitchen. I have some corn syrup at home, but unfortunately we don't have any here. So what we decided to use was glue. Glue oh. is sticky, right? Yes, glue is very sticky. Okay. So I'm gonna put a little glue in my solution. And glue, glue will go in there. Does that yeah. all feel good? Right. Let's see, okay. right, mix it up. Makes it a little cloudy, but that's okay. All right, let's test this out and see if we can make our bubbles hang around a little bit longer. Okay. I'm excited. Let's see. Oh. oh, that one popped pretty quick. I think that was technically error on my part. Let's see. That's a good bubble. Oh. It landed on you. <laughs> Oh, those are good. Those they are last good pretty bubbles. good. <laughs> okay, so now that we have our bubbles, our bubble solution, we want to try to make some bubbles and we want to test and see if we can make bubbles in different shapes. So we made some different wands here for you. The same way we made our circle, we just shaped them differently. So what shape is this one? A square. We have a square. What else do we have? A triangle. Good old. And we have another circle. Another circle. Okay, so we're going to test these out and we're going to see if we use a different shaped wand, can we make a different shaped bubble? What do you think? Do you think if I use a square wand, do you think I can make a square bubble? I don't know. I'd really like to try to make that mouse. He was kind of cute. Well, we don't have a mouse shaped <laughs> wand, but we can try that out. If this works, then we'll make a mouse shaped one. All right, Carol, you want to try to make us a square shaped a bubble? Square bubble. All right. Wow! Is that a square? <laughs> no, that was definitely <laughs> that a circle. Was a that circle. was really cool. That was good. Okay, let's try a triangle. Do you think it'll make a triangle bubble? I don't 
know, we didn't have a lot of success with the square, but I'm hopeful. So this one is really pretty in pink. That's a good bubble too. Our glue worked. Our glue would best work. It looked like it was trying to make a circle, but let's see if we can get one that'll stand. They're running out of air. Those bowls are getting so big. It's the glue. It helped. Let's try. One more time. Okay. Triangle bubbles are hard. They are. It's just a little fun. That's fun. That's a big circle. <laughs> it never came off, but that was definitely a circle. Okay. Um, so, it looks like no matter what shape wand we use, we're still getting circle bubbles. Yes. Okay, so they're round. So we need to go back to our books and think about which book was right. Do you remember what the book said? Which book was correct? Was it the pop book, the one all about bubbles? Or was it Carol's book? Bubble Bubble. What do you think? Hmm. My book said that bubbles are always round. What did your book say? My book said that bubbles were magic and could be any size, shape, or creature. So which one is true? We tried the different shapes and they all came out circles. So it looks like my book that says books are always round is the book that's telling the truth. Yes, and my book, Bubble Bubble, is just telling a really cute story. Yeah, he's pretending, right? Yes. Which is amazing. But this book, because it's telling the truth, because it's fact, we call this nonfiction. So my book then must be fiction. Yes, they're really good stories. Yes. I like them both. All right, now we're gonna have some fun with bubbles. We wanna show you what you can do with bubbles at home to make some really interesting artwork. You wanna help me with that? Yes, because I had fun with this. I know I'm gonna have fun making some art. Okay, let's set this up. Okay, are you ready to make some art? Yes, I'm excited. Okay, so what we've done is we just got our bubble solution that we made and we added more soap and a little bit more glue and a little bit more water and we just made a big batch of bubble solution. We added it to our four plates here and then we just added different food coloring. Okay. So we have all different colors of a bubble solution. And so what we're going to do is we're going to blow bubbles onto this paper that we've laid out and see if we can make some fun bubble art. Okay. Thank you for joining us and having some fun with bubbles. I hope you have a chance to do this with your family because it's a lot of fun. It is.